Hey guys, welcome back to Model Cars Houston. Today I have a special treat for you guys. I've got an Error 404 64 scale resin to talk about with you guys today. Here it is. This comes in a plastic slip case, as you can see here. Uh, comes with an acrylic case, the model, the base. Um, Error 404 is mainly specializing in 64 scale resin models and limited edition so for example this car is only limited to 500 pieces and i believe this one is number 234 of 500 so um really neat stuff because as you can see uh this is a 180 sx uh sometimes they're coming out with cars that you've never even seen before made into a model kit which might be a very promising future for people that are trying to collect stuff or maybe they've wanted something of a 180SX, for example, and they could never find something. Well, Error 404 may uh, fill the gap or the void, per se, for people that are missing out on certain vehicles or other manufacturers not making certain vehicles. Um, but here it is. This is a newer release. It just came out recently. Era 404 also has some other colors of previous release. I know a red one is for sure one of those. Um, I don't recall if they've made any other colors, but I'm pretty sure that they will probably produce other colors as well. So let's jump into this one. First, you want to take this slipcase out. I know it looks foggy and stuff because of this slipcase. It's just another protective measure, so that's always good. Here you'll see the model in its uh, box. Um, really nice. It's got the rainbow effect in the background. So even as a display, it looks really cool. See? Most people will probably not take these out anyways. So, But in my case, I will, of course. So there it is. This is a Nissan 180SX Type X version. Um, the way I know is it's got the front bumper, sides, rear spats, spoiler. It even has this visor up here you can see on the uh, roof. Pretty neat little details. <laughs> Love the aftermarket wheels, uh, the lowered suspension look. Looks like it's got kind of like a, a, a upgraded exhaust as well. So next thing you want to do is you want to slip this out of here. The way they have it, they have this little tab. You can pull that out. And when you pull that out, the whole model will come out. That's that little neat background that they typically have for all their model cars. Here's the bo here's the car uh, with the box removed. As you can see, uh, the finish is truly amazing. I love how clean the white is uh, on these resin models. The paint is just looks flawless. Not a single bubble, not a single blemish. Um, that's one of the things I love about resin models. There's the front end. Here's the little placard. Um, 234 of 500, limited edition. Side profile, rear profile. But yeah, this looks amazing. So let's take it out of the case and see what it looks without the case on it. I love this base that they use. It's kind of like a fabric, almost Alcantara-like fabric. Really smooth, really sleek. It's just clean looking. Um, here we're getting to the finer details of the model. Looks like there was a small little smudge there, but there you go. Quickly fixed that. But here's the front again with the place removed. You can see that they've got the logo on there for the Nissan. Uh, yeah, this model looks fantastic. I love it. I love that they're supporting this make and model uh, as well. But um, just seeing it hindsight like this, it really shows that these guys are dedicated to making some top-notch, top-quality type models. So... Resins are typically in the upper price ranges of 50 to 60 to 70. Um, it's just going to depend on what it is. Uh, 
for example, this one's probably more in the 60s range. But, uh, again, just showing off some of the new stock I have um, in future videos. I'll be sure to do more of that just to show you guys. Um, we can even compare this to maybe other ones, other brands and things like that. So, just a short, quick video showcasing this model. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or things that you guys feel I should elaborate on, please let me know. Um, down here, there's the two bolts for you to unhook the car. And these cars are typically going to be static, so they're not going to roll or anything like that. But um, it's great for people that build dioramas, displays, and things like that. Having one of these cars in that will look really awesome. So hopefully we can get into that stuff too. Again, a lot to unfold, but a quick little video just showcasing this one as a new release that I just got in. Um, check out my website, check out my Facebook page, do all that. Uh, also, on this video, like and subscribe. I'll be sure to bring more stuff, non-biased type reviews. Um, although I do have a favorite brand, but uh, Error 404 with the type of quality that they're putting out definitely makes it a contender. Um, I can't wait to see what other makes and models they come up with. All right, guys. Thank you. Quick video. I'll see you guys next time.